Hi everyone and welcome back to FXR, a brand new league on F1 2020 for Xbox One. We're here today for the third round of the season, the Vietnamese Grand Prix. And we're going to dive straight into this then. We're in Q2 and we are qualifying on the medium tyres if we can because that will be the best way to go in this race, done on mediums because uh, the tyre wear can be a bit much if you start on the soft tyres and try and do a one stop. So we're going to try and get through here on the medium tyres in the second phase of qualifying. And we actually managed to set the fast time then just ahead of Psycho Swift there, uh, so that was good. Uh, looks like we are going to be through then, and indeed we are very close there, the gap between the top two there. But we get through on the medium zone, which is what we wanted to do, which is good. And we will now be um, moving on then in a minute to the far end of qualifying. But we have a teammate this time, so that's good, and a bit more cars on the grid, so that was good to see. Obviously still very early days for this league, so... Yeah, hopefully I'll just keep on growing. As we now go into Q3 then, and here we are then for a lap of the Hanoi Street Circuit, which, uh, as I said before, I think the track is kind of terrible, but uh, I guess just the more I've driven it now, I'm kind of more used to it, but there's still some parts of the track where it's just, I, I don't know what I'm doing, and it's just every single time I go around there, it's just, I guess, kind of just like luck as to if I manage to nail it or not, because there's still some parts I think this left hander coming up is a good example of one of them where it's just I don't know if I'm doing the right thing for his corner or not I think I was a pretty decent line there I think really this whole lap was um, fairly decent maybe not the quickest lap but I think we managed to do a pretty good job on this lap here then as we will you know, watch the rest of it but uh, yeah I'll see if we want to get a good qualifying here then it looks like we may we have the uh, pace for pole here then as we see uh, Psycho Switch there set the initial benchmark. We obviously want to keep our good form going because we've had two podiums so far. Uh, we won the first race in Australia and then we finished second last time out in Bahrain. So that's given us a championship lead and we obviously want to keep our momentum going then so that we can obviously try and uh, build ourselves a nice lead, maintain what we've got and keep on pushing forward. So uh, we'll see then how, where this lap puts us in. We've had, as I say, I think this lap was very nice and tidy. I think we pretty much had, I, think, I don't think we've had any bad corners. I think it's probably not the best lap, but we go fast as end with a 34.3, couple of tenths ahead of Psycho Swish there. And my final run was actually terrible there, but you're going to see in a second that there was a bit of an issue with the lobby there. So yeah, my final run was quite slow there. I kind of aborted it towards the end. But then the session you were trying to join our spectators is no longer available. Well, I wasn't trying to join our spectator sessions so uh, I mean just gotta love this game but yeah that happened to a few people and we had to restart the lobby so that's the second week in a row there's been an issue there so uh, gotta love co-masters her huh? I mean this happened on the same night if, if you may have seen it where TRL Limitless had uh, the absolute zero uh, tire temperatures which is you know an incredible glitch so yeah it was just a really quite a bad night for co-masters on that night and it does really seem that F1 2020 has taken a step back. I mean, we always seem to complain about online, but this year it really does seem to be a bit more of an issue, which is not good. But yeah, we're restarting this race then. Well, we're restarting the lobby, I should say, but going straight into the race then. We were meant to start on the tyres that we did Q2 on for those of us in the top 10, but Swish ended up on the hards there. So that has already ruined his race then because he's going to have to pit at the end of lap 1, which is a bit of a shame because it was looking like it could be a bit of a battle here between the two of us on the front row we were looking quite a bit faster than the rest so we were hoping for a good battle at the front but nonetheless then we've got the lights coming on now and away we go then in Vietnam our first ever league race in Vietnam and we have an okay -ish start I think I maybe went to overtake a bit too quickly there had a bit of wheel spin quite late on the brakes in turn one had a bit of a lock up as uh, Manzi and Squish are now battling over P2 Squish obviously wouldn't have had the best start there on the hard tyres so that allows us to then just maintain our lead and get into the front and already have a second advantage so really a perfect start for us there then as we see the replay and yeah, as I say I don't think our initial launch was even that good I think Manzi had the best run there and he was maybe having a look there on the outside but couldn't quite there get either of us there then and Squish put up a good fight but you know, for us, we ended up with a very healthy lead then right off the start. And Swish then is going to be pitting 
um, on on the first lap then to correct the uh, all the tyres that he was on, which is a shame really because it could have been a really good race at the front here then, but I, I don't know. He said that the game put him on hard even though he picked medium, so uh, yeah, Kumas is then having another shocker there. We were ha had a nice healthy lead then at the front after only a couple of laps, but then we actually had a bit of an issue ourselves there, breaking a bit of a front wing off on the outside of I think turn four is that maybe or turn five. It's one, that's one of my least favorite corners on the track there. So yeah, if it's going to be anywhere, then it was definitely well, it's going to be likely to be that corner there. But uh, thankfully, we actually managed to uh, have enough pace then to still be able to eke out a bit more of an advantage then as a brief virtual safety car came up for Kev crashing out of the race there. So we were looking still pretty good at this point then, had a nice little gap to uh, Manzi that was still growing. And by lap, uh, end of lap 11 then, Manzi had pit, he was about 12 seconds behind us, but then a virtual safety car comes out again then for secret projects and that was crashing out of the race. And it came out at the perfect time there for Manzi, he's going to be in having his pit stop while this virtual safety car is out. And of course, when we come in, we're going to be changing our front wings. So suddenly, we've gone from having a nice, healthy lead to uh, possibly losing it at this pit stop here then, as in we come for our stop. Um, interestingly though, Manzi has gone for the soft tyres there, which is a bit of a surprise because hards can get to the end from here. Um, maybe he didn't think so, or maybe the game put him on those. Who knows, but we're going to be coming in then, we're going to change this front wing because I really don't want to be driving with that damage, even though our pace was still okay. But Exit. yeah, we, are, we did change it then, as we are now then away from our pit box. Uh, we see Manzi again coming past, but of course, with this pit exit, you feed into the exit of turn two, you skip out that tight turn one, so we'll see how close it is. I think even with this uh, advantage then that we've got here, um, yeah, we still are going to rejoin there in second place. We've lost the lead here to Manzi, and uh, yeah, we've got to try and get back now then. But the one good thing for us, though, is that we are going to the end now, and Manzi will almost short, certainly be pitting again. But uh, over the next few laps, then we managed to get the gap back down then. Obviously, our soft tyres would have been wearing off quite a bit quicker than the hards, so we were able to reel them in then over the next few laps. And... Really, there was no need to be taking any risks here because obviously he, get, he starts to pit again. But at the same time, I did want to try and get the bastard on track because uh, we haven't had any, any battles so far in this race. So I wanted to have a uh, wheel to wheel battle with someone then as we pull alongside, then he went defensive, but we stayed on the racing line there. Managed to just about get ahead and then get our breaking right for the chicane. And we retake the lead then for the first on track pass for the lead then this season, I'm pretty sure. And yep, yeah, we managed to. Uh, retake the place then and we're looking in a pretty good position now then I think because obviously as I say we are going to the end and Manzi is um, pitting again then and that is indeed what he does then at the end of lap 20 so uh, I think for us now then it's actually going to be a case of uh, how much of a lead can we get is Manzi going to close back in or not because me being you know a bit sly again thinking how can I get more points out of this race I was thinking, you know, if we can build up more than a pit stop advantage, can we go for a, a third fastest lap near the end? But, I mean, I knew I'd have to push quite a bit then to get out a pit stop advantage with him on the soft tyres there. In fact, I pushed a little bit too hard there. And out of the final corner, another one of the terrible corners on this track, we managed to break another front wing there then. So, not been the best race from us really in terms of keeping it clean there, but... Uh, thankfully we do have a big enough advantage that it shouldn't matter as long as we're not pushing too hard and I think that really was the warning there to maybe not push too hard and try and uh, you know build up a gap to go for the fastest lap and uh, yeah just uh, bring it home then. I do think though that just being out on my own really pro pro probably contributed to that because you know focus wasn't fully there with sort of nowhere about really so I think that maybe contributed to a bit. It's a shame that Psycho Swish wasn't more up the front in this one because it could have been a really good battle there. But nonetheless, then, it's two out of three then for us. We take another victory then. And um, yeah, we're having a very strong start to the season then. It wasn't the fastest lap this time, but it is at least a third podium in a row. And here's back on the top step for us then. So yeah, a very good result for us there then. 
with uh, two people that we've already seen on the podium this season and both grab in their second podium today then and that is Manzi in the Renault and Korg in the Alpha Tari. So yeah, we're starting to see then after a few races and the you know the I guess the established people then near the front we're seeing who will likely be, you know, the consistent uh, front runners then this season. As we see then the final results, we take the win, Manzi in second, Korg in third and Oh well, someone in fourth who took the fastest lap there then today. Psycho Switch managed to recover to fifth. He had some other incidents in this race, so that was a shame for him then. Um, so, uh, for us then in the championship, we maintain our championship lead then. We're now on to 70 points. So, um, yeah, we've got a nice lead then over Manzi, who is now on 45. I'm pretty sure he's maintained second place. Uh, Swish will be on to 35 with uh, yeah, the extra 10 points today and then Korg will have moved up to fourth um, with his uh, second, third place in a row there. Uh, I'm just doing it off the top of my head. I, mean, I will have the standards on the screen but I don't have them with me just yet so I was just working that out there quickly. But I'm pretty sure that's correct anyway. So yeah, we're seeing then, as I say, some of the uh, some people emerging then as potential front runners for the uh, uh, over the season then. Hopefully we will still get you know some more people in because obviously we're not getting full grids yet and it'd be good to see some more people fighting out at the front but um yep yeah, obviously as i say a long way to go then so so yeah still some potential for some more good races then next time out will be the chinese grand prix hopefully see you for that one uh thank you for watching